Oh, they're moving us on. Hey, here we go. The weather machine. We fired it up and brought it down to Forestville Elementary. The students in K to five handing out the high fives. We handed out the weather balloon. We talked about how we grab information from way up above in the clouds, and uh, everybody got to get a hand on the weather balloon. Mm -hmm. And it didn't explode this time. Even the little guys got to. Do. I showed you guys this before, but uh, oh, has whatever. it exploded in the past? Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> we, we explain what happens when it gets to the upper atmosphere. Atmosphere. It goes up to about 120,000 feet and then goes boom. This is what we have in pockets of the southern tier. We introduced Mike to some fog and almost made him completely disappear right before the eyes of his classmates. And this is always neat where we force rapid condensation followed by evaporation. Put it in your hands, put it in the hair. And, uh, and the kids remember that, certainly remember. You see all the hands go up, put it in my hair, put it in my hair. It's the neatest thing. Uh, and then uh, we talked about some sun, how you have to protect your eyes. Don't be the one to look directly at the sun, even with the sunglasses on. And Katie, is that a bad hair day? It sure is. That is. And then this is a real bad hair day. When you see one of these, it's a tornado. We spun it up. Olivia came down and we let her kind of cradle the vortex. Cool. Explain why you can see and why uh, why wind is visible. Cradle the vortex. <laughs> sounds kind of fun. It sounds, more, it sounds cooler than it really is. And these guys, I want to introduce uh, Logan, Braden, and Jamie. They came up center stage. Look at the exchange. He had the most powerful finger in Western New York and he Love it. exchanged some sparks and this is their superintendent of school. Hey, she's she's awesome. a good sport. Comes right down and she can feel the hair going up on her head. I've had days like that without <laughs> static electricity, I'm telling you. So you need the hairspray. <laughs> they haven't seen a whole lot of this down there, but we gave them a flurry of activity and it was great. A lot of fun student scientists and we will be firing up the weather machine contest again after the holidays, but there's their gift as they head out to uh, some well-deserved vacation time. Thank you down to Forestville. Let's go ahead and get into our seven